Uh, it looks brighter. New couch. Oh, maybe that's why it's brighter. Is the couch the lighter color? Maybe that that's kind of kind of cool. Nick used free, but I got oh. it from a respectable person, not like just off the street. <laughs> hey, look, uh, uh, street street furniture man is is something something everyone should have to you I've know done before. Yeah, you know, I not everyone should have college that. house. Almost everyone yep. has has d- done it before. Nick, say the thing. <laughs> What? I'll oh, say the thing. Yeah, yeah. I, was I thought saying. you said the same thing. I was like, no, what? I said, what does that mean? Hey, All right. Hello, everybody. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, now you're ruining my intro. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Marvel Multiverse Mayhem. Mayhem. And there was quite a bit of mayhem this week. Um, as always, I'm Nick, and I'm with Kyle. I don't know what side of the screen he's on if you're watching. Um, <laughs> I think he's on that side. But uh, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to discuss episode nine. What if the Watcher broke his oath? Yeah, ha- half ass but break breaks it. Uh, sponsored by Grow Generation, where the pros go oh, yeah. to grow, guys. And please do ch- check out lrmonline.com every day for all your entertainment news need, needs and opinions, as well as genreverse.com, the LRM YouTube youtube channel and the genreverse podcast that work wherever you get your uh audio podcast from uh please like subscribe follow all that all that good stuff i'm done nick <laughs> okay so again spoilers immediately we don't bother with the non-spoiler business on the mcu show not really mmm not, not anymore M- <laughs> square i don't know triple m uh so what did you think? Let's give opinions first. Oh, uh, initial re- reactions, man. It it was it was good spoil o- in the reaction. overall. Yeah, yeah. I, it was good good overall. I felt it. I felt it. It felt long. Like I was actually surprised surprised because last week we were like, oh, will it be a forty minute episode? Like how how will it wrap up? And I'm like, oh okay. The 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 fake out with with Killmonger. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing. Nothing was bad. Bad. It was just kind of like it didn't. It didn't. It wasn't as fulfilling as I had hoped. It was really good and well executed. What they had g- going, I just kind of expected. I, I don't. I don't know. I feel like if Killmonger had made made the move earlier, right? I think it would have landed better. But to have that big build up. Where where N- Natasha does what she does, and then to have to go through another b- build up surprise. Here comes the Watcher. That kind of t- took some of the wi- wind out. Again, it wasn't necessarily bad. It just it didn't land as as well for me. And I'm gonna end up getting la- louder on the audio now as I move this microphone c- closer. So I'll apologize. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> I liked it. That was awesome. I did not feel like it was. It didn't feel long at all to me. It felt like what I expected. It had the humor of some episodes in the series. Like, it it blended everything. Thor getting picked up by the Watcher. That was funny. Fucking hilarious. Very funny. I did enjoy that. A lot of cool Easter eggs in this episode. Um, One of the things I actually really like, looking back on Agent Carter, we open with Agent Carter. Mm-hmm. basically at the beginning of winter soldier so most of the events have gone the same and the conversation's almost the same with just with sexes switched as far as like oh right. you should date uh bernard yeah. the uh okay accounting accounting uh, the, but then black widow does say a mean theme to her thing to her that i'm surprised she brushed off so easy. what, what like, was well, that it's because his name isn't steve <clears throat> oh yeah and it's like oh but i assume they're actually even closer than captain america and Natasha were because the girl power. Oh, you know, I mean, there are two women on the Avengers. Not, not really. What I, what I took it as is the the same way dudes give our each other ribbings. It was. Yeah. I took it as as that uh, as a sign of like, not not only it, it's it's not necessarily like her 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 Steve's just in another un- universe as as far far or not in another universe he's but he's lost in time it's like yeah, he's he, the same thing as their situation kind, kind of kind of sort of yeah because we see that in, in credit scene 
uh, where it looks like their universe had a yep. similar Rogers, one. but it, well, no, because she. I thought when that no, she's in the same timeline. She goes put back in the same timeline. No, or, or, originally when she goes to fight that mo monster, didn't yeah. Steve go? He was left behind. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm I'm saying. So she goes back to her. Uh, I thought she goes back to the the one with, with where she she had met. She didn't go back to her her original original. That was the thing. He was like, "You want to go somewhere else?" And he's like, "You can't." that world need, needs you more no but she went back to the one that she came from the one that we saw at the end of her episode where she meets right guy and so she's been in even the avengers has even passed and now she's in a right Winter but, soldier similar but plot. in that in that universe she didn't know the steve rogers from that one no no she knew him she knew skinny steve in the in the in, the in her original, I thought. No, but it's the same universe. Remember, she just gets traveled through time. She doesn't travel between multiverses. I thought she. They open the door with the Tesseract, and her she pops out with some of the arms she sliced off, like it almost like the quantum realm, where it'd been like I, five I, minutes to her. And I, then, I, I know, but I the, the it. Tesseract, it, it, it wasn't the te te it, Tesseract is space. It it doesn't transform through through time or or anything. She that the they were messing with something extra di dimensional, which is why the creature was there. She she went extra dim dimensional. That's what I'm saying is. But she I think she still came back in the same timeline as far as like she gets there. She's Captain America. Dude, you're 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 confusing the the hell out out, out of me, because. <laughs> She she straight up in in episode one mm -hmm. leaves her universe and leaves Steve be behind. Mm -hmm. There's no other Steve. We never see her uh, again, really, with any storyline until uh, the, this this last uh, episode. There's there's no Steve. But that that doesn't make any sense. You watch the post credit scene, right? Yes, that that's what I'm I'm saying is. That she's been telling stories about her her time to the new Natasha, and that Natasha's like, "Oh, hey, but by the way, look what we found." It's I think it's one of those instances where her her universe the the differences aren't that big. Only in in hers, she you know, she's alive during during this time instead of dying in in the in in when, whenever. Uh, if I'm if I'm wrong. Please, someone correct us, but I'm, I'm fairly right, so certain I'm fairly certain she was in a different universe. Like, that was the whole thing, because what 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 sense that does it make when Watcher's like, you want to go back somewhere else? Trust me, that that place needs you more. No, she he wants she wants to be sent back to a timeline with she wanted to go Steve go, Rogers. She so wanted he sends to go her back to the to, timeline. She can't He plucked her out of. And yeah, that's I, yeah. I understand that. That's what I'm saying. She wanted to she wanted to go back to her very, very original one where she left Rogers. And he said, I, I can't send you the, there. That wasn't just time. That was a different I think that universe. Was time, not the universe. It, how? Because there's no green. It's a creature that pulls her through. How is that time? Because they open the gateway to throw the creature through with Tesseract. I know, Tesseract I know it's doesn't not, do I time. I, know. I, I think there are a lot of plot holes in this series because I believe it is the same, exactly the same universe. She's talking, she's on the Lumerians. It's a slightly different name ship than Winter Soldier. I understand you know, it has that. That rock, the Leaper on it. But I'm if, not going through the plot. <laughs> if that's if that's the case, then either you and I are are I'm completely bat shit nuts you're completely bat shit nuts or Marvel really really me messed up I either either way because like I said him saying I can't send you back to that to that world I think is the wor word he used and I would love to to bring bring it up but time. <laughs> come on Nick I mean, how do you how do you mean time if you mean like world? send me back to the forties where Steve is still alive? That would so be I can time. Live my life with send me Steve back to my just... time. Send me yeah, back to my time. You don't say send me that. back to my my world. I don't know. I well, we'll I'll tr try to, re to remember to double tr double double check, but we can we'll, we can research it next week. We'll verify who was wrong and who was right. Or, or both. <laughs> yeah, or we'll, Marvel's the crazy one, not us. We'll we'll ver 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 verify, but. Yeah, it's it, it was good o overall. Like I said, I just I felt like it could have land landed better without having to have two 
two boss boss fights. Uh, it was, and the, the other as, aspect kind of being the the Watcher's whole half ass breaking his his oath, and then at the end, very 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 end with with Widow, where he's like, "Oh, I'll send you to uh, um." universe for now that's so something i just thought of something what if what what if no no <laughs> <Name the show. laughs> what if he did this same thing and and i don't want to get too much back on oh, onto the bit. yeah what if so he Steve messed is there well no what if what if he sent her back to her original world like when she was ne when she was neglecting t to walk forward, it was like a test. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. But I, uh, when he reveals to Widow, you know, hey, I'm dropping you off in this this world where where they lost their their widow. Uh, it again shows how he's trying to bend the lines. Like I'm not necessarily messing with things i just I, there, there were already some some uh interdimensional rifts and and uh it should just walk through a door well she didn't even walk through the door which is i like guess what he's trying to get her to do yeah, something. Yeah. not literally snapped but but uh yeah i i enjoyed the voice acting cast it was f fun with with uh the Th thanos G gamora and uh um, apparently there's like a missing episode yeah, rumor that was one that got put. some shit. That's supposed to be 10 episodes. The okay. uh, missing episode is the one Jeff Goldblum talked about it when they first uh, started. When he, he kind of lied because he didn't know. He's like, oh, I'm recording an episode with Taika Waititi. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said Robert Downey Jr. at the time. We mm -hmm. know Robert Downey Jr. is not any of this. And yeah, it's supposed to be the episode. This is the leak, at least, to what we thought it was going to be. Stark does destroy Thanos' ship instead of the Chitauri ship, but he's trapped in outer space. Mm. He gets picked up by Sakaar because that's his gladiator armor, if mm -hmm. you look closely. It yeah, yeah. Jack Kirby I stuff. Saw it. And then that's why the episode was rumored to be called Gamora versus Iron Man. Because mm. I think they both fought. They call it like the watch. No, she gets called the champion of Sakaar or something by mm. either the watcher or someone else in the room. And I love the part where he's like, not you, Stark. Yeah, that was it kind of drives funny. home. I feel like they've killed him off so much. It kind of drives home the point that like basically any universe that loses their Stark, like loses the thread of what was supposed to like that loses every happy ending because Stark's in a way has been the key since the beginning. I could kind of see see something like like that. I That's do love cool. the Watcher being like, not you, Stark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was funny. Uh, and then. I was going to say that the Killmonger thing is interesting. Um, mm -hmm. He gets popped because they like that because of the results of the episode. That means uh, Shuri and Pepper won because they stormed mm -hmm. in. He's not there and he's never being sent back. Nope. So that 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 some of the endings don't get addressed all the way. That ending is addressed. Mm -hmm. Captain Carter's ending is addressed. Yeah. Um, I don't know. They don't, they don't touch on zombie Thanos yet. He may have been even cooler than <clears throat> no I, I i yeah they they didn't do do anything with that that but there are a few cliffhangers where it's yeah like they could explore that in season two they I, I, and i think they they absolutely will i i when when uh strange opens the door and i saw all the bodies i was like ah zo zombies yeah and, and then scarlet witch was was great uh ultra vision was was cool i had fun trying to name uh uh kill monger i was like wait is it U ultra monger kill vision <laughs> I was like no no to you gotta name after the stones infinity monger and infinity vision infinite monger and infinite vision and infinite no, zola uh, uh uh it it infinity kill killer <laughs> yeah infinity <laughs> I, killer i don't know well, i love I, I that like um it. the watcher calls him by his real name is it eric stevens i think which I think, I I think I you might only hear his last name once in Black mm. Panther. Like you, he's always Killmonger, and they yeah. call him Eric. Well, they, a lot, I, but... they don't actually refer, refer to him by by much of anything other than he was a Killmonger or is a Killmonger, and then they call him Eric a, like a cu couple of times, yeah. but not to his face or or anything. And uh, it, it's always interesting to, to me when 
naming like happens and and doesn't ha- happen with uh a their lot nicknames of names versus their yeah well not like no use of scarlet witch as a name until uh wandavision like that kind of thing not not not, not necessarily some sometimes because you're kind of like you know the the name naming thing is is deals with uh um like if they feel it's geeky or or something and in mine especially with villains i'm wondering if they're trying to enhance some a- aspect of the character's backstory or or art art current arc uh uh with the lack of use of name or the the uh particular use of name over u- use of na- name because y- you always have that thing where it's like um you know the, the like the Harry Potter thing. He who shall shall not be be named, right? So or when who when remains. it's <laughs> right. So when the when the names are are finally said, they they hold some some weight. So always see if that's like something they're going for. Lord or not. of the Rings. He's known as Strider. Aragorn's known as Strider mm-hmm. for like the first at least half of the first book. He's mm-hmm. like, Nah, I'm Aragorn. I'm meant to be king. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's gonna take a long time to get there. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. So even though uh, we have eagles, <laughs> it's still my favorite thing to say about Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but if if, if they if they <clears throat> if they did that, then uh, you know what's who? his name would have seen it and easily knocked them d- dumbass bir- birds out out the fu- fucking sky, Probably. almost as easily as I knock this damn uh, segue to our sponsors over at Grow Generation. <laughs> grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. From propagation to harvest, they have everything you need for your special garden. Grow Generation serves customers across the nation and carries a wide inventory of renowned cultivation brands. Go to www.growgeneration.com where the pros go to grow. Thank you guys for sponsoring the the episode. Uh, grow Generation, where the pros go to grow. Uh, Nick, what do you think are the potential uh, for... there? So there's already some light rumors out there about certain... And we're, we're not going to spoil um movies or or anything so i don't want to talk specifics because also i gotta watch what what i say because of how how much i actually know um i try to avoid most of it but right but there there are some some light rumors out there about some well what if stuff making it to multiverse of madness now they made a big thing about multiverse here you know um well, what do you what do you think, man? Uh, you, you you think we're gonna get get some some Marvel uh, what if in in li- live action? I'd rather get Marvel what if characters than <clears throat> try to throw in like Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, or whatever the other possibility. <laughs> do. You know, because like it's a multiverse. Maybe you know. Yeah. Like if they paid him enough, they could easily be like, "Oh, here's Wolverine. We're not gonna use him again." But there's a multiverse. Like there's the Fox multiverse. We have our Spider Man multiverse in the last movie so i'd much rather see any character from this show up in the multiverse of madness than someone from fox which i don't think they'll do because they did that intentionally i feel like in wandavision to be like we won't reuse the same character like it's a joke that he's ralph boner yeah from a wonder games last name but uh, i wonder here is not games there's been some some t- talk about a s- certain toy leak that mm. labeled a certain character as variant. So, and I'm not going to say which movie. There's there's one of of two that it's potentially from a Spider Man or Multiverse Verse of Madness, and the toy was of a character from somewhere else. And if true, that toy was labeled blank variant or variant blank. A- and that's that's a fear a theory, right? It's it's uh kind of like what some are theorizing what we're we're gonna get with um we're gonna get with uh like charlie cox is uh daredevil rumored to be in in spider Spider spider-man and and that idea is that he's a he's a a he's a matt murdoch that went through almost everything we saw he's a variant in netflix, so that he's not the netflix but he's not oh. the, the exact netflix so we should That's be exactly the way they should do it with punisher and all we, of them right and like- and so some some people 
theorize that, you know, with, with Spider-Man, and I'm trying not to give any, any too much away. I'll say say this. With Spider-Man, I think the, the potential for some characters to be like the, the Sony, for lack of a better phrase, prime versions and not a random similar variant, I think is more likely than us getting a prime Foxman uh, variant <laughs> versus versus I that. a I've never heard that. Si- oh you've never heard that was a no thing. one said foxman that makes so much sense yeah well Fox they used to X. they used to write it on like in on online speak as ff uh capital ff lowercase o and then oh. uppercase x men oh, so yeah, it'd be yeah. like the final yeah. art final final fantasy <laughs> that's the best ff uh Fantastic Four and and uh, oh. X Men from F- Fox, clever f- fuckers, right? So the the Fox <laughs> uh I I think they are more likely to be uh, those really similar v- variants if we see any of of them. Uh, I think you're right, like the the Ralph B- Boner type thing, where it's like they don't necessarily want to to bring in what we all already saw sony on the other hand with their spider-man stuff they could so potentially want to be uh earlier a little different <clears throat> earlier yeah, this, if this you week. haven't seen if you haven't if you've seen venom check out our monday podcast yeah we this talked about week. venom Let we did. that way otherwise this show would have been too long we talked about venom for like a fucking hour <laughs> yeah it was crazy crazy <laughs> so what do you want from season two man like seriously they say they're going to do a lot of phase four stuff, which I'm down with. They did slight phase four in this mm-hmm. episode, in the last episode, with both the shield and naming Alexi, which is the name we'd never heard until Black mm-hmm. Widow. I don't know how the fuck she knew that his dad, her real name's dad was Ivan. It's not like she's been to meet the Red Skull. Like, his Black Widow didn't even know that. Well, uh, I don't that know. That doesn't matter. Yeah. In the end, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, what was the what was the question? It's just what you would like to what you would like to see from season. I'd like to see a, two. I'd like to see a zombie episode every season. Mm-hmm. Maybe a Captain Carter episode every season, and then Phase Four stuff like they promised. I think uh, most interesting of all would be a something kind of related to Loki season two or Loki season one, where there's like a a prop almost proper animated Loki variant episode. I could see, I could see that. I would, I would kind of dig that a lot. They do say a lot of the next season will be. I've read uh, more standalone, not really building up to uh, Avengers. Event. It's more of a character-driven one. I do also. I, I read this day. Did you read this today? Um, they, they had a spinoff series ready already. Hmm. Um, Black Pan- They were going to do Star Lord T'Challa as its own series but they're not going to do it now that chadwick boseman died like that was the one they were absolutely going to spin off uh especially after this episode i would have liked to see that because now we have peter quill with the chala based on the very now that episode. that that that's that's true that that could be interesting and I was, like i was going to say there's there's a lot of potential there but i don't necessarily see it straight from what what we we got uh ev- everyone would of course point to the doc- doctor strange thing and i'm like nah that's kind of a, a one trick po- pony it, it's a very p- powerful episode so i wouldn't want to see spin off of that that do you trust him keeping two people who are fighting infinity stones inside I actually bubble, inside wa- of his own bubble i actually w- wondered if he was going to fuck fuck shit up uh during the the fight like, I thought seeing Killmonger, like, trying to study things was going to be a fake out, and he was going to take so- something back to his time, time, or his world. I, uh, I knew it from the minute he's staring but, at the helmet. I'm like, he likes drones. I know. And, <laughs> and, and it's that's, made of vibranium. That's what I, I, I figured is, is you know, like a, a backup thing. But uh, uh, d- d- Sorcerer Supreme, Dark Supreme, whatever the fuck strange supreme dark strange he but i i trust i trust him he he's 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 been been broken he had he had the opportunity to to do some some stuff there uh could have really did redeem himself yeah he like just like uh 
Infinite Ultron noticed, or Infinity Ultron, that's like called. Uh, he's like he's the important one. Like he's holding up the Guardians of the Universe or Multiverse Multi or whatever. Yeah, Multiverse. Because he really does almost all the work. Like those shields. Two things about those shields in the rooms. Some people think the Black Spider-Man suit is an anti-electro suit. Those are definitely the same runes that yes. Doctor Strange I've uses. already, I've already yeah. talked about uh, we those, have in those the past. runes. But yeah, some people are like, it's, no, it's an electro suit. I'm like, no, it's a it's <clears throat> Doctor Strange given. It's suit. got so so it has both text stuff on it, and it's got magic Hello? stuff on it, uh, and I don't. I, I think it's it's both both, like you said. I I think he's because it's also the the bl black and gold color scheme are are look to be in, inspired by the PS4 uh, ending suit that you fight Doc Ock with, not the white. Uh, no, I just emblem don't on care the, for the black and from the video oh, games dude, to the show vi up in the movies. video game is ama ma amazing. I want just comic jealous. material. I am uh, jealous, but I don't, don't want their suits just from the Sony game. I can't play. No, so I'm, I'm, I'm I want saying suits that from it, the comics. I'm saying that it, that it look, looks inspired yeah, by, by simply because it's blacking and yeah. ye yellow or you know blacking and, black and, and yellow, gold. Black and yellow. <laughs> Pittsburgh Pe Penguins hockey seasons October. Yay! Anyway, anyways, <laughs> um, where where was I? Uh, okay, anywhere you want. Oh, the 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 suits. Uh, so. It to me, I, I'm thinking that he builds it with someone to help deal with the the sinister six that we're we're getting and strange augments with with magic. So, um, yeah, that that's you know that's we're getting off on. topic, but you know the real reason for that suit change, if I had to guess, what's that? Easier to tell apart the different Spider Men when they're all fighting on the same screen. Could could be. Could be. I think I it's also hate, why hate the leak shit. we've seen has the leak we saw that was actually no, never mind. Remember how the okay, okay, so I watch Quarter Crew, they do mm. a lot of uh, special effects stuff. I remember that guy came out and admitted that the Andrew Garfield video was doctored, mm -hmm. and they had and a video that was titled like, No, it isn't, but at the end, they're like, It is, it is mm -hmm. doctored. Like, they were looking at them, like, See, it's real. They're like, Oh, wait, here are the reasons you can tell it's deep fake, it's all about the teeth. And the shadows, the teeth move up and down a little bit. The deep thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, look, I I hate I hate how people have been with all of this this shit with with all all the leaks. Um, the amount of of ask covering Sony is trying or Marvel is trying to do to do. Um, at the same time. I do think Andrew Gar Garfield said one thing that people should keep clear: temper your expectations. And that's where I think that I idea of variance, where it's really, really similar, but but like I said, Sony is a, a different beast because they still maintain all the the film rights, and they could easily, you know, depending on the the contracts with yeah. with the other other actors, act actresses uh use likeness and voices and 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 all all of that till till ki kingdom come and they're gonna they're gonna want to want to so you you might not see it be like a, a variant that being said i was kind of with you on the side that it was going to be just limited if we had spider men but limited, now mostly the villains right but, seen stuff though i assume but i honestly feel that it's going to be more it's going to be more than either one of us wanted, but I don't but think it's going to be as much want. as... It's not going to be the Spider-Verse. It's, it's not going to be... Spider-Verse. It's not going to be a 100% live-action spy Spider-Verse. No, yeah. I don't th think so. But it's going to be more Spider-Verse than what you you and I want. You yeah, and I wanted, in like... In the end, it's the Tom Holland movie. Yeah, Even when there is more time than you and I discuss. It's Tom exa Holland, Spider-Man. Exactly. They might aid him in the last scene. Who knows? Maybe Doctor Strange brings them through because the villains already fell through Maybe, now we're talking about a whole different movie but then we're yeah what if what if <laughs> what not what, what if, if? spider-man no way home what if uh one of my favorite easter eggs mm -hmm. that i've actually been waiting for for a long time was zola showing up oh yeah in a, in in a belly. body as this because that's in the comics mm -hmm. he's like a little screen on the body of a robot yep which is silly but we got there because of animation <laughs> I don't think we'd see that in live action. 
Oh, well, they they could have put him in a in a a ro robot similar to the one used in the uh, Ultimate Ultimate Alliance Two game, where it's kind of like a spider. I think it had four legs, maybe six, a spider bot type type thing. And I know spiders have eight guys just for for imagery. Imagery the spider type thing. Yeah. He oh did my say god! Spider. I just noticed I have had this bezel in my camera sight. I can crop that sh shit now my sure. image is blurry uh what was i gonna say so they they could have done something s similar like like that that with with him and and they put it like the screen that his face could be in at the at the bottom of the spider yeah. bot uh so i don't it, it was cool it was cool i i almost was like please don't fake out with with toby jones doing shit and yeah so and then let's see. great the fight scenes are fantastic in this mm -hmm. like i mean although I, the the launch of widow widow took too long dude that was such a long la launch like hurry up get up we know what the, you're gonna do. launch the, with the bike to to oh, shoot yeah no her actual her actual like launch off with the bike took too long <laughs> it I was, was like we one know of, what you're doing. <laughs> Get one there. of my favorite, I think one of the coolest things I've seen. Well, first of all, I know this doesn't mean anything, but if you go on to Disney Plus where you watch this shit, I found it like it wasn't at the top of the page for some reason, but I found it under a section called MCU, which I mean, doesn't actually mean anything. It's just where Disney's throwing their. And again, Fox, I mean, X-Men wouldn't be under MCU under the Marvel Channel. Because remember, we've, we've heard both ways. It could be. They can kind of make a decision on how much oh, of the MCU it and, is. And I'll I'll say say that this you were correct. You did hear the word mutations in the Sony thing. However, it doesn't necessarily mean anything for no. MCU I just know Prime. MCU not, yeah. never even used the word mutation. I don't think they once. ever ever did. Or and, mutant. Or... And that was probably because of co contract. So, no, I said I didn't remember yeah. no yeah. you didn't remember and i Some, thought I someone was else wrong, said it but... on on online and okay. and v verified so i don't remember who i was watching so whoever said it credit to you <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> one of the things i love one of my favorite parts was strange doing the, the uh like creating a thousand remember how he created a thousand of himself mm -hmm. or whatever and all, all the ha hammers Infinity, all the hammers yeah, the the hammers were pretty pretty cool. Uh, my f favorite m moment, I I really in enjoyed uh, uh, party Thor. Uh, it, it, cocky it, again, just like with Thanos. Yeah, um, but when he was like taking on the 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 drones and and you know one after another after another after another that Before was just he doesn't great want to to literally grab exactly him. it's like thor that that's He's probably my thing it's like he, thor no. odinson <laughs> i do yeah i love that <laughs> he's probably my been my fa favorite character through throughout yeah and uh, he's funny what he's appeared in and at the bar yeah the bar where he's like would you explain it to the room one more time just to catch one someone else yeah, didn't get me. it not me so, someone else yeah someone else not me i really really love uh having uh J michael b jordan and uh chadwick boseman mm -hmm. even if they didn't record together just having killmonger and uh t'challa have moments together yeah because that's you know it he that's the thing because of what if he continues to be one of the best villains yeah like he's great of course he knew he was going to betray them all at the end when you look at the the Ultron helmet, <clears throat> I really again I I kind of looked looked at him as as having a very specific purpose. He's like my people on my planet. You know, I didn't see him going the whole whole week and set every well one's world right, but mine extra extra right. Well, that's the thing. Course, He's like but... offering something that he probably won't give at everybody else. Right. So he's like, I got the stones. Trust me, everybody. You guys keep trusting me, and it's been working out for me more than you guys. <laughs> oh, well, we'll 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 see. I still wish we could get a Thunderbolts show with 
Claw, Claw, and Killmonger, and Justin Hammer, and (laughs) I would that would be the the world's best ever. Bring back Killmonger for uh, (sighs) Dark Avengers or Thunderbolts. Yeah, I would allow the multiverse to do that and not be upset. Whereas I would not want to see Tony Stark or Black Widow actually come back in the main continuity because. Or Thanos, even like they keep saying, like there might be a young Thanos in the internals. It's like, can we eventually get past the Infinity Stones? That I know, was the Infinity right. Saga. Now we're in what I call the multiversal saga. <laughs> and like I like we discussed a lot before. There's multiple sagas going on right now. There's the Secret Wars, Captain Marvel, Cosmic yeah. side. There's mm-hmm. the suit side magic with armor wars, and, yeah. magic side, the Hulk, the Gamma. There's like a whole Gamma storyline that seems to be running along it you're right i like it to a to a de- to a degree i like the in the intent the landing re- remains to be be seen because because like i've said before there there's a lot of characters that because they are one n- newer uh uh that um i don't necessarily have a a real easy way to to relate to and number two often especially the the ones that they're bringing in like uh miss Mar- marvel for for example aimed at a different demographic besides ju- just age you know um and i don't necessarily and i don't mean just uh gender de- demographics i'm talking like men- mentally uh you know well, the, the things people like- are the things people are are in into and you've you've got to be really p- plugged into this like culture and and stuff like that to to get that type of char- character and and be the able to relate care. to them it's like guardians of the galaxy i've never heard of them we're gonna watch well no miss marvel and i've never heard but of them. you can relate it. you you can easily relate to a lot of different things from the those characters even if not and i and yes there are things that you you could do with miss marvel that i could relate to i'm saying that they they haven't in comics that i read read and they didn't in the the game and so i i don't have a lot of faith in be, being able to relate to to miss marvel and again it's not a, a knock it's not like a, oh yeah. like she it's 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 not for me she's she's not for for me There's at no all no way you're not gonna watch it though even but without the podcast. i mean it's unless they're unless the first shows. yeah unless the first episode was complete garbage no of course i'm gonna gonna watch I would it. never quit any marvel show even if all six episodes <laughs> but as long as it's mcu marvel <laughs> but but it it has to it has to land right for me to to care and like i i said a few, few weeks ago if too many too many pro or too many uh uh shows or movies in a row don't hit right it'll get harder for me to, to care because you know it's like okay you not lost it on the on the co- comics you lost it hit in a past movie or or a game or uh an animated thing thing and then you you lose it with the current ver, ver you know three three strikes you're, you're out t- type of deal and if that happens too much you you know i i don't know uh, what i'm ba- basically saying is things could go well they could go go bad I have my feelings on several properties, but I'm still open-minded and, and hopeful. I think Marvel's main goal with Miss Marvel mm-hmm. is in case they lose Spider-Man, they still have like the high well, school. Well, they're they're not gonna lo- lose him for for good good any anytime soon. No, but we might live. You say they even lose him for four years. There's your yeah. younger, relatable, especially since it, it feels exactly, like they can make exactly. a Young Avengers soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, one of the last 100%. things I wanted to mention about the episode, and you don't want Par- Parker in a Young Avengers, you want no, no, Parker no, he's a, an Avenger in a, new, in a uh, new Avengers. He's like one of the most powerful Avengers left mm-hmm. standing after, especially ex- experience and game. Yeah, which is why everyone's like, "Are you the new Tony Stark? Like, who are the new Avengers that don't exist now?" Mm-hmm. Um, but also, I gotta say, there's something I really liked about shit. This episode, I was like, oh, oh, I love, I felt it hard when the watcher, the watcher's us. I felt mm-hmm. that so hard in the episode where he's like, you're more than just stories to me. Like, <laughs> you're everything. To, that's how I feel as a fan. I'm like, no, you're not just stories to me. You're the highlight of my week, my year, like that month. Like, 
like I said, I've it's for me it surpassed Star Wars as my thing. Like Marvel is my number one franchise, except for Indiana Jones, which probably isn't gonna go well next movie. But you always have hope, man. You gotta have hope. Uh, there, there's a, always hope. Rebellion, rebellion. Yes, I, <laughs> <some hope. laughs> I was hoping you could do that. Oh man, Nick, Nick, so, Nick, 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 well, I think it, Nick, <laughs> Nick, 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 um, <sighs> what? I guess do you have anything else to say about this episode in particular before I ask my final question? Mm, nah, man, man, I think I'm, I'm good. Rank them, not oh, the episodes of the series. God. Rank the series. Uh, There's four Netflix I was, series. I, I mean, was, oh, Disney okay. series. All the series. Yeah, so rank far? the four. And don't rank the episodes. That's too. I can't do that. But rank the four series that we've had so far. Uh, I I would probably and and some people aren't gonna like me for for this, Whatever. but I would probably say Wanda, Loki, um, uh, this, and then uh, well, no. Uh, Falcon Winter Soldier this and and the reason why I kind of th thought about about it there is I had to think about uh in enjoyment plus substance and while I think over overall I enjoyed what if more consistently even because there were like ups and downs with with uh Falcon Winter Soldier the substance in my ex experience and and personal connections I could feel with both uh, Falcon and 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 or Cap now, now. uh, and and uh, Captain Bucky, America. uh, put pushed it up, and so yeah, I would I would say Lo Lo uh, w Wanda Loki, uh, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, and then what what if, and I I would say what if is a um, I'd probably say it's a B plus, so. You're ranging from a B B plus to, to an A minus there. A A minus, yeah. So guess by number one. Uh pff, Loki. I thought you guessed Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but in the last week I rewatched the final episode just like two days ago, which mm -hmm. was one of my which is my all time favorite final episode of Loki, which is my all time favorite episode in any of them. Until and the I'm next like, Yeah. <laughs> I was, normally I was you know, I have yeah. a super soft spot for the Captain America universe. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Loki, Captain America, WandaVision. Well, not Captain. He is Captain America at the end. And what I if? You mean. Just what if it's not the same type of show at all to the mm -hmm. others? The, the, ma the main reason uh, uh, why I like WandaVision so much is it was a magic trick it they went through all the paces it went through all the 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 tricks the the, the tr tropes Dar darcy and agent agent Wu, right yeah uh absolutely mm -hmm. awesome Rand randall Couple park and, and uh, uh Kat dennings um, amazing i need more of them in my life together on on screen in the M mcu as as darcy and, and agent agent Wu. uh uh, it's just such a well done show, and I think there's a lot of slow burning parts in there. So we'll we'll see what shakes loose through uh, 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 no way okay. no way home, and then getting into uh, multiverse of of may mayhem. So nice shirt, by the way. Looks like a Doctor Strange I have Agamotto shirt. Yep. Nice. I'm just I got this from the grocery store. Oh uh, yeah. This top gun was two is supposed to come out. <laughs> nice. They released the shirt. There you go. Um I think that's about it. Um Yeah. It's, it's, again, it it's now. I've thought this up before. I find it really funny that the multiverse is being by broken by different people all at the same time. It's not like this caused it. It's like this person's doing it, this person's doing it. And not necessarily the same time. I, I the way time works in the TVA right, at the same time. But but what it's not necessarily that those events are actually not literally the same it, time. Oh. but I I think I still think there's a a point to what he said specifically until now this this point I don't know anything be, beyond this point I still think that there is Dang, a specific at this point. 
Yeah, yeah. There, there's still so a pass the threshold. <laughs> that, that's yeah. yeah. I think there's a specific outside factor to that. I don't know what, but I don't think we've seen it, and I don't don't think it's it's any event that that we are particularly aware aware of. You think uh, it's the that Spider Man thre threshold? I don't is think be the real break? so. Potentially, if I were to say it, any of them. I would say that's potentially the straw to break the, the camel's that's back. What I, thought, I was kind of figuring is that like they're all all doing it and it's building on yeah, each other. Yeah, but I, I think yeah. you're I think you're re reading too, too much into when people are explaining how they all happen at the same time. That's literally no, just no, not the way the videos say it. That's stupid. No, no, I'm I'm saying that when when in in the idea of. You know, time is all all around you. So yeah, you could Delete. technically line each event uh, up. I'm saying that I don't think any of these uh, events themselves cross the the threshold. They're not they're not the thing. Something that can break the camel's back, so to speak. Yes, but it, it, it's not like a. I, I I don't know. There's like a hi hybrid between the two where I think you you and I are fa falling at, but having trouble describing. <laughs> Here's actually I just came up with this. Here's what I think. Okay. Okay. I think the true break was when he just let himself die. So that's when we see the different multiverses form, and I think that's created different multiverses being closer to other ones. So it's easier to break okay. that line too. Maybe, like but Doctor the Strange is only breaking the multiverse because it's already been broken, and it's Sonyverse is kind of like folding close to it. May, maybe, but what what was the threshold that they cro cross before he dies? Before she even stabs him? Here's my guess. He's obviously he says he's done it thousand. He's done it many times to get to that point. I believe he says. I think he's never made it alive that long. I think that's the threshold. Because the whole process has happened before. It feels like the Matrix, the uh, guy in the second Matrix, the architect. Where he's May like, no maybe. matter what happens, I always end up here. I think he's a line like yeah. that. Yeah. May maybe. I don't, I don't know. It, it's, kind of, it's kind of weird because but Marvel has been playing a little lo loose with the whole idea of what what is a, a universe, uh, what is a... What what is a t timeline? What is a d d dimension and, and all of that? And I just realized how high my my camera is, and everyone's kind of just looking at like this this beard in a, in a screen. But oh oh well, uh, yeah. We'll we'll have to see how it, how it all uh, un unfolds. I'm having a lot of trouble recalling a lot of specifics t tonight, so I will apologize to anyone if I have been completely off my my rocker. But uh, yeah, well. We'll, we'll see what she shakes loose. And the next, ladies and gentlemen, the next new Marvel we get won't be until November 5th. So Kyle's already watched the first one. I'll watch it the next week. We're going to try to cover the different Spider-Man Spider movies based on the rumor that it's all going to that we're getting. We know we're at least getting villains from all yes, of them. Yes, we know we are. But, we a hundred percent. The trailer 100% no, shows that. at least that. getting the villains. So we'll be what we'll be diving into the live action Spider Verse before there is a movie similar to Spider Verse. Are our next plans? Um, unless we there's not really a, a Hawkeye rewatch to do before Hawkeye comes out because it's just Avengers movies. Yeah, and so, Civil, Civil War. Yeah, and three Civil War. three so Avengers we won't do that films like we and a Thor. Civil War. Yeah, yeah, right. That that's it. Oh well. <laughs> Thor, but that's a ca that cameo. Doesn't count. Yeah, that, that doesn't barely count. count. It counts more in the what if story than in the yeah, actual. Yeah, that that life. that's in that that not not even close enough for horseshoes or or hand grenades. <laughs> yeah, it was Bare, like the barely weakest... close enough for a nu nuclear bomb. <laughs> that was the weakest cameo of all of them going into like Black Widow had been an entire movie in Iron Man two, yeah. and they're like throw Clint Barton in for like thirty seconds. He's an archer. They'll get it. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyways. Hey, everyone. I mentioned it all earlier. Our web websites, lrmonline.com and uh, uh, genreverse.com. Uh, bookmark them. 
And of course, check out the YouTube channel, LRM's YouTube channel, and uh, the the podcast network, the Jean Jean ah, the Genreverse podcast network, uh, where wherever you get your your podcast from. And please do, like I said, subscribe, thumbs up, down, comments, uh, all that good stuff. And yeah, social media information down below. There's a lot of really great shows, uh, Marvel, anime. Uh, Nick being silly. Uh, uh, anime Versal Reviews, Mar- Marvel Multiverse Mayhem, the can- Cantina does uh, Star Wars stuff, the Daily Cup of Genre. And then, Nick, you do some some show yeah. that's pretty pretty popular. What is that I called? Breaking Geek Radio, the podcast. Uh, re- try to re- we usually release every Fridays. We've been recording on Fridays recently, but we still have been getting out. This week, 007. No time to die. Did you guys talk about that last week? Danny saw it two weeks ago. He's in Dubai. We Jonesy and I have been able to see it until this week. And Squid Game, which I believe mm. all of us except for Jammer have finished, and is of course the phenomenon Good. that's that's ah. tr- taking over the world. It is in, it is indeed very very good. A uh, lot of lot of good Korean Korean uh, and content. We'll probably we talk briefly about talk about what if. <laughs> of course, of co- course. Anyways, with that, Excelsior. <laughs> Not sad. Get out of here. <laughs>